Hey guys, it's Pandemic here for Leverage Cinema, and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on composition and render settings for Call of Duty clips. And before I get started here, I'm just going to open up the properties for two clips that I've rendered out. Um, the first one is with the default settings in After Effects when you choose to render queue. Um, it's in AVI format and 1.32 gigabytes. That's a lot of memory for a video and it's really unnecessary. And the second one is my modified settings which I use with every video that I use. And it's an MP4 format with 6.21 megabytes. So that's significantly less than this AVI file over here. And uh, let's show you how to do it. So open up After Effects and import a clip. I'm going to import a triple feed here. And don't create a new composition. Just drag your file down to this little button right here and let go. And what that does is it creates a new composition with the settings that you recorded the clip with. Mine is an HTP VR, so it's 1280 by 720 pixels and 59.94 frames per second. So if you're recording with um, an HTP VR like me, it's going to be this, the settings. But if you're not and you're recording with a Dazzle or whatever, it's most likely going to be um, right here, the HDV HDTV 720 um, preset which is 29.97 frames per second at this same resolution here. <clears throat> so just keep that in mind. Um, let's create a new adjustment layer and add some CC. So I'm going to use Magic Bullet Looks and if you don't have Magic Bullet Looks then that's okay. Just add whatever or don't. It's your choice but I'm going to do it just for the fun of it and under these presets popular film I'm going to choose blockbuster it's my favorite preset from looks and that's all I'm going to be doing for the editing for now so once you're done with your editing go to composition add to render queue and name your output whatever you want and save it to wherever you like and in render settings you want to have quality best resolution full and just leave all of this um, the default unless your frame rate is different from your clips frame rate and if it is just change it to whatever that is so we'll hit OK and then under output module you're going to click on lossless and then this comes up and you'll choose H.264 for your form format. Check this and make sure this is unticked. And in video output, go to format options. And you, it should look like this. Um, make sure your profile is set on high and your level is 5.0 or 5.1. I prefer 5.1. And rate and coding is VBR 1 pass target bit rate 6 and maximum bit rate 9 and make sure this is unticked and multiplexer just leave mp4 and standard alone and hit OK and if you're using audio go ahead and tick that and use 48 KHZ stereo and you can edit this right here I prefer 192 as my bit rate instead of 128 because it gives it just a little bit more sharpness to your audio and that's basically it so we'll hit OK and then render it out it should take a little while if you're using um, CC or effects or whatever but if you're not it'll be a little bit less so let's take a look at the original which is the 1.32 gigabytes. Um, it doesn't have any audio because I forgot to take it, but that's okay. We'll see that it's basically the same quality as this clip. 
but this clip has audio. And um, play it one more time. You can't really see any differences in quality, but this file size is significantly less, as I've already stated, than the one that I have before. So, um, good luck with your videos, guys, and this concludes the first tutorial on Leverage Cinema. See you later.